Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to Grimgore's Tabletop Gaming. In this episode you'll find the unboxing of my Necromander Deep Upper Rising set. Cue the titles. So this video is going to be about the unboxing of my Necromander Deep Uprising box set. I managed to pick this up for £140 on an online store, which is quite a bit cheaper than the Games Workshop £175. Um, also as well the delivery was within about two to three days uh, compared to the Games Workshop which is quoting up to a week. Uh, so I've got a good bargain and also a quick delivery on that one there. So uh, without ado, uh, let's change the camera angle and start unboxing this little beauty. So let's turn it to one side so I can get a decent cutting edge to remove the cellophane. I know this ain't the most exciting part of the unboxing, but needs must. Finally got rid of the stuff, cellophane, be gone. So let's turn the box up and have a look at the illustration at the front. Typical Games Workshop illustrations, uh, branded with the Necromander theme. Uh, looking to the sides, showing the Colts and the Enforcers. And again, showing the Necromander Dark Up Rising labelling system. Just move it to the side for a new uh, image and twist it around to the back to show the gaming surface, the scenery, a little illustration in relation to the Corpse Grinders and the Enforcers. So just changing the camera angle, now taking the lid off the box, feels very vacuumy, uh, but then again it shows you how well built the actual box is. More packaging to remove, but hey, it's all protection. So we've got quite a few sprues here, uh, starting off with looks like bulkheads, uh, moving on to uh, what we've got here, we've got walls, and a few more wall sections, uh, so at least we've got quite a lot of scenery here. It's going to be quite good painting. I think I'll probably go for a uh, metal-y sort of look for the uh, for the walls and these sort of sections. Uh, bulkhead doors. Typical Games Workshop standard. A typical grey. Uh, got more wall ends by the looks of it. So looking at the contents of the box so far, I think I made quite a big saving uh, compared to actually buying the items individually, uh, especially where I've got the actual box set for £140 uh, compared to the Games Workshop price of £175. So I'm coming to the end of this side of the screws, which is basically uh, walls and end sections. I notice they've actually got some of the uh, tops of the end wall sections as well, which are reversible. Uh, so what I've seen by uh, other videos of, on YouTube. So moving on to the other side of the box, uh, we've got a pipe section, all on sprue. And we've got a couple of uh, stair and landing areas. I like the stairwell and the idea of the way they've actually done this. So when you're actually moving your characters around the battle surface, uh, you can actually place them midway on the stairs uh, to represent accurate uh, measurements. I've uh, got a few more wall sections. And we've got the landing sections that go on top of the wall and the end areas. Now it's time to move on to the actual figures themselves. So for the first two sprues, uh, we've got the enforcer units. Uh, with the shields, uh, pretty impressive, really highly detailed. So we've got another enforcer sprue. And now moving on to the corpse grinder sprues, which include uh, body parts, armor, ammunition, and guns, etc. To buy these separately, you're looking at 26 pound per box, 
And I don't think you actually get as many figures in those boxes either. So digging a little bit deeper into the box, uh, we've got a poster with the artwork of the Necromunda Dark Up Rising theme. And as I spin it around, a little bit more artwork showing uh, the rule book, Gangs of the Underhive and Book of Peril. Also showing box illustrations of Escher, Goliath, Kaldor, Bansar, Orluk, Delik, Palatite, Enforcer Patrol, Subject of Patrol and Corpse Grinder Colts. We've also got a leaflet uh, advertising the Underhive and Terminal Overkill books from the Black Library. We've got a sealed bag with the assembly instructions for the actual box set itself. I'm going to go through this uh, after this section of the video. A little bit more detail. A uh, pack of cards uh, where you've got the gaming cards as well as the uh, unit cards that you can fill out. For some strange reason, empty bag. A uh, bag full of uh, Necromunda uh, 40k bases. And also uh, two sets of dice in one bag, red and black, with contrasting uh, images inside. So, we've now got the rule book uh, showing the illustration at the front and also the back in clear cellophane itself. Again, I'll be opening this up later on in the video. Some transfer decals for the enforcer patrols. Uh, the Colts wouldn't actually use these. Uh, blast markers in orange. Uh, slightly different to my old Warhammer days, Fantasy. Um, they used to be clear, uh, but I'd imagine these would be the same as the 40k stuff. We've also got gaming markers to use for the individual figures. Um, by the looks of it, we've got the gaming mat actually inside this cellophane as well. I'll open this up a little bit later on. We've also got a clear ruler uh, for measuring distance of movement. And I imagine for shooting and blast and such. And last and not least, a clear bag. God knows what it's for, but hey ho. So I'm just going to change the camera angle again to actually show further detail of the contents. So we've got a pack of cards. I'm just going to open them up and see what's actually inside. So we've got various cards with strategies and commands on the side. Uh, again, I haven't really read up into this too much, so I can't really tell you too much about it. But uh, there's quite a few cards there. Uh, just moving on to the gamers cards. Um, so as we build our figures up and give them certain uh, guns, etc., we can adjust their statistics. We've also got a bag full of uh, bases, uh, mixed size bases. They comprise of a mixture of uh, 32 mil bases and 25 mil uh, for each of the figures. There's enough for the full enforcer team and also the corpse grinder team. Fairly high detailed. I think they're going to be pretty good painting. So moving on to the dice, uh, we've got two sets, uh, predominantly black and red, uh, with contrasting colours. I'd imagine we use them for the red ones for the uh, cultists and the black ones for the enforcers. So just going on to the assembly bag uh, as we open it up uh, we've got multitude of uh, assembly instructions uh, starting off with the enforcers. Given fairly good detail in relation to the uh, making of the figures themselves. Uh, another enforcer set giving you multiple options of how they can actually look. Moving on to the uh, Corpse Grinder Gang. Trying to get this thing open. There we go. Uh, so yeah, again, just giving you different options of how you can actually set the figures up themselves. Looks pretty uh, clear and easy to uh, read. So the next leaf that goes into assembly of the doors and the walls and also the end units and how they can be set up on the actual gaming board itself. Now we've got stairs and landings, how it can be assembled, 
a great bit of kit, really good idea of actually being able to have the, uh, the figures on their bases halfway up the, the stairwells. And last but not least, uh, we've got the assembly instructions for when I can open it up. The pipe works. Um, so again, hollow inside, stick them together, paint them. They should look pretty cool uh, in situ on the actual gaming map. So moving on to the, uh, the rule book. Cellophane up like anything else. Uh, so let's get my trusty scalpel out to uh, remove the cellophane. So I didn't see this initially, uh, but we've got a Necromander quick reference guide. I suppose to make it easier when you're actually playing the game, rather than actually hitting the rule book and going through pages and pages of rules, uh, to flick it over and away we go. So the rule book is a uh, paperback version, nice glossy pages and thick enough so you don't feel as though they're going to get damaged for use. The book itself has got loads of information in relation to the Necromander world and also the games that's uh, included inside the box. Uh, got scenarios inside there as well, which is pretty good. Um, so it adds another aspect uh, to the actual game in itself. Uh, gives you a few stats of the Corpse Grinder Gults and also the Enforcers. Um, so it looks as though it's everything you need in one book. So thank you for watching this video. Um, if you did like it, please like, subscribe, and maybe drop a comment, uh, tell me what you think of it, how I can improve, or if it's just what you thought it was going to be. Uh, just to end the video, I've put some still shots of the contents of the boxes, uh, but obviously you can pause the uh, still shots for a better view. Uh, until the next time, goodbye.